This video is brought to you in partnership with Next Level Racing, the leading brand in comfortable and affordable sim rigs. Stick around to find out more. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of League Races Insight, the show that is dedicated to helping you be the fastest that you can be. This week we head to the Principality for round number 7, the Monaco Grand Prix. Being no stranger to the F1 calendar, the 3.3km circuit is rich in history, going through numerous changes over the years, but the challenge is still as hard as ever. The tight walls that surround the entire circuit leave no room for error and make it the most important qualifying session of the year. Let's have a look at the track. So here we are in Monaco, starting the lap around of the Principality, 50 meters down for turn 1, 38, using all of the apex curbing that you can, being careful not to hit the wall on the exit, and then you carry that speed all the way through Beau Rivage, turn number 2, then into turn number 3, Massenet, and then Casino, turn number 4, make your way down to Mirabeau using the second of the little colorings on the left hand side as your breaking point. And then into the famous hairpin first gear, the slowest corner on the entire F1 calendar, making your way through the second part of Mirabeau, and then into Portier, turning in around where the orange barrier is on the left-hand side, and then through the tunnel we go, up through the gears, once again, seventh gear, spotting that 100-meter board on the right-hand side, as you make your way down into the Nouvelle Chicane, using all of the Apex so that you can without receiving a warning. And then into the third set of the, the lap to back corner, very, very fast. And then into the swing pull section, going full commitment through this entire section of fifth gear. Careful not to hit the wall on the left hand side. And then hard braking for Larascas. Very easy to lock up the front right tire through the Antonino to the last corner. And then that is the lap around Monaco. Looking at the strategy for this track, we recommend the one stop using the softs and the mediums. You can pit anywhere from lap weight onwards and make it to the end of the race, however some time management is required. The hards will make it to the end anywhere from lap 2 onwards, making it a good option if you get significant damage in the opening few laps. Before we go, we would like to give you guys a few tips and tricks to help around this circuit. Track position is extremely, extremely important. Given the tight nature of the circuit and lack of any long straights and hard braking zones, being ahead on the track is priority number one. This makes qualifying extremely important, so be sure to practice it. Strategy plays a massive part in this race. Undercuts are big if you can get clean air and timing is paramount when in the session. We suggest paying attention to how long it takes to do a pit stop and use clean air to your advantage. ERS is very hard to manage around here due to the high downforce required for this track. If you are going to use your overtake, make it count. However, remember to be patient when going for overtakes. One mistake can easily ruin your race. Your best chances of making a pass are into turns 1 and 10. Force your opponent into a mistake out of turns 8 and 19 for the best chance. We however would recommend using strategy to pass your opponents. On track passes are extremely risky and difficult. Now a word from our partners Next Level Racing. Next Level Racing is your one stop shop for comfortable and affordable sim rigs. If you are looking to take your sim racing experience to the next level, click the link in the description below and check out their range of rigs. They have options regardless of price point. Once again, we thank them in supporting us grow the sim racing community. That is all the time we have for today. We hope you found this helpful and we will see you next week when we head to Baku City Circuit.